Assalamu alaikum welcome to Hasil and online solution today we are reading an extract from the novel Robinson Crusoe Robinson Crusoe Crusoe the family name corrupted from the german name Crusenaya set sail from Kingston upon Hull on a sea voyage in August 1651 against the wishes of his parents who wanted him to pursue a career in law after a tumultuous journey where his ship is wrecked in a storm his lust for the sea remained so strong that he sets out to sea again this journey too ends in disaster as the ship is taken over by salai pirates and crusoe is enslaved by a moor Two years later he escapes in a boat with a boy named Jury a captain of a portuguese ship off the west coast of africa rescues him the ship is en route to brazil crusoe sells jury to the captain with the captain's help crusoe procures a plantation years later crusoe joins an expedition to bring slaves from africa but he is shipwrecked in a storm about 40 miles out to sea on an island which he calls the island of despair near the mouth of the orinoco river on 30 september 1659 he observes the latitude as 9 degrees and 22 minutes north he sees penguins and seals on his island as for his arrival there only he and three animals the captain's dog and two cats survive the shipwreck overcoming his despair he fetches arms tools and other supplies from the ship before it breaks apart and sinks he builds a fenced in habitat near a cave which he excavates by making marks in a wooden cross he creates a calendar by using tools the salvaged from the ship and some which he makes himself He hunts, grows barley and rice, dries grapes to make raisins, learns to make pottery and raises goats. He also adopts a small parrot. He reads the Bible and becomes religious, thanking God for his faith in which nothing is missing but human society. More years pass and Crusoe discovers native cannibals who occasionally visit the island to kill and eat prisoners. At first he plans to kill them for committing an abomination but later realizes he has no right to do so as the cannibals do not knowingly commit a crime he dreams of obtaining one or two servants by freeing some prisoners when a prisoner escapes crusoe helps him naming his new companion friday after the day of the week he appeared crusoe then teaches him english and converts him to christianity after more natives arrive to partake in a cannibal feast crusoe and friday kill most of the natives and save two prisoners one is friday's father and the other is a spaniard who informs crusoe about other spaniards shipwrecked on the mainland a plan is devised wherein the spaniard would return to the mainland with friday's father and bring back the others build a ship and sail to a spanish port before the spaniards return an english ship appears mutineers have commandeered the vessel and intend to maroon their captain on the island crusoe and the ship's captain strike a deal in which crusoe helps the captain and the loyal sailors retake the ship and leave the worst mutineers on the island Before embarking for England Crusoe shows the mutineers how he survived on the island and states that there will be more men coming Crusoe leaves the island 19 December 1686 and arrives in England on 11 June 1687 He learns that his family believed him dead as a result he was left nothing in his father's will Crusoe departs for Lisbon to reclaim the profits of his estate in brazil which has granted him much wealth in conclusion 
He transports his wealth over land to England from Portugal to avoid travelling by sea. Friday accompanies him and en route they endure one last adventure together as they fight off famished wolves while crossing the Pyrenees.